Hello and welcome. I'm back on the southwest coastal path, walking between Lawworth Cove to Weymouth. I'm facing my fear after last time's experience. I'm picking up where I left off 10 weeks ago. I don't know if you saw those videos, the links are above. Very, very challenging last time. Almost didn't make it. My feet were hurting last time. Almost ran out of water. It was so hot. My legs were aching, all these climbs, like it is here now. Look at this. It's rocky sort of paths like this. But at the same time, it's amazing views. Absolutely amazing views like this one. And I'm better prepared this time. So I learned last time from my mistakes. So thanks for joining and let the climbing continue. My name's Addy, Addy May. Yeah, so Addy, I mean, it's amazing. She's walked all the way from Minehead and she's um, almost completing the whole coastal path, which is two days to go. Yep, I should be in Pool tomorrow, South Haven Point, finished. Um, I've been walking for six, six and a half weeks now. So yeah, it'll be wow. just, just under seven weeks to do it all, yeah. And if you ever get down here, you realize what an achievement that is, because literally, you probably saw my videos of the two days I did and it was really tough. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm back today, hopefully more prepared. <laughs> but it's so inspiring to see someone like um, Addy, who's actually done the whole thing. Yeah, I will get there eventually, but probably in a couple of years or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone, every, a lot of people so, do it so, in so, so how about wild camping? Yeah, wild camping's yeah. been my favorite bit. Everyone asks me what's my favorite bit, and wild yeah. camping is my favorite bit. Just having the views, like I watched the sunset last night, I watched the sunrise this morning. You know, as long as you get away from the car parks. Mm, you, yeah, you, although you know. I camped in one car park, one yeah. National Trust camp park. Yeah. Um, yeah, you just find a bit of flat land, don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I thought I'd share that with you and encourage you if you were fancy doing this. But be prepared, that's all I'm yeah. going to say. <laughs> yeah, food and water, food and water. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. Yeah, no worries. was the best view on the whole of the south west coast path and she just walked the whole thing so but it is very dangerous so you can see that this whole piece of rock is starting to crack off well it's amazing to be back so it's really spectacular isn't it this pit so you can see Weymouth now behind all the cruise ships. Oh, it looks like good news. Look at this. It looks like I'm following the ridge and I can't see any huge climbs after I come down this ridge. Look at that. Looks like I returned to almost normality, what I'm used to. So we'll say goodbye to these huge, huge cliffs for a while. Wow, this is a really tough stretch if you're not prepared for it. But lovely to complete it. Lovely to overcome a challenge, isn't it? And come out the other side. So satisfying. So it's lunchtime now. I've got to almost at Ringstead. It's gonna be much flatter. So I found a little bit of a clearing here on the way through to set up my lunch camp. So I'm gonna have my lunch, I'm going to have this lovely chili con con in a can with couscous. Very easy. Ready in three minutes. So, 
and goes the water onto the couscous. On goes the chili. Nice hot food, not too bad. Not a bad solution for a quick camping meal. Everyone's so friendly on this walk, so they keep asking me about where I'm going and where they can buy these poles, these trekking poles. I've had all sorts of questions, uh, which is nice, really. It's nice. It does slow your mileage down, but which is fine. I've got plenty of time today. So there's a whole community, actually, of people when you get on these walks. They're very happy to talk. And it re it's really refreshing, actually. It feels more like, dare I say it, before COVID. You know, it just feels like people seem much more normal out here. Maybe it's in Dorset, I don't know. But they want to talk and... So it's really nice. So I think I said last time, you're not really on your own when you come out here. Even if you're a solo hiker, you meet some lovely people. And uh, in actual fact, like I said, you could almost spend the whole day talking and not not walking. So sometimes you have to say, well, look, I've got to get, get going. The trekking poles really do make all the difference because they literally act like shock absorbers. So you can lower your weight. You're not just putting all the pressure on your knees. Weymouth three and a quarter. So here I am on the deserted beach opposite the deserted cruise liners. So I've checked the cliffs behind me and it's all grassed. There are areas of cl cliffs along here if you look along that side which is literally coming down. So I'm not going to go down that end but I think I'm pretty safe at this end. So this may be my camp. This is my first choice so far. Very, very quiet. This is probably the best option. Again, just camping on the beach. How high is the water going to come? So you can see it's literally the deserted beach. So I think this is where I'm going to stay. This is it. I can't really tell how far the sea comes up, but nothing's really wet on, on the beach. All this weed is so dry. Totally dry. So I might try just using the tarp, a tarp tent with my trekking poles. Well, late afternoon sunshine's come through now. Amazing view. Incredible colours, so quiet. So I've got the tarp out and I'm just trying to figure out how to put up the tarp tent again. I've not done it for a while. And then this is my tarp tent for tonight. This is a new experiment for me using rocks. So I don't think it's the perfect shape, but it's more like a pyramid. And I've got a bit of a door and I can block that off as well with my bag when I get in. I've got space inside, I'll show you inside. I don't know what the flies are going to be like so we have to wait and see. I've got the other tent if I need to. And that's it inside. So I can sleep across that way. We'll see how it goes. I'll set it up now and then uh, have a look. A new experiment. Okay, so I hope you can see that, but I put up the tent instead, just because of the flies. And now it's sunset time. The sun is just going down behind the headland. And let me show you the view that I've got tonight. Let me sweep it round. Look at that. Absolutely perfect night. So there's the view of my tent. You can't really see it because it's green and it's quite dark now on the camera. 
Okay, so time to cook dinner. I'm having special rice. I think this is Uncle Ben's rice. Just put in a bit of water, boil it up. And then I'm just going to mix in a bit of sardines. That's it, very cheap meal and very quick. So be ready in no time at all. Okay, so the rice is done, really nice. I'm just going to add the sardines and stir it in. Good thing about sardines is it has lots of protein. About 20 grams of protein in this little can. Otherwise your meal is just all carbs if you just have rice. You need your carbs for all the energy but you also need the protein. Put that back on. Just heat that through. It'll be tomato, sardines and rice. Really good, you should try this. It's a good um it's a good dish. Plus it's one you can carry, it doesn't weigh much. And it's um doesn't go off, you keep it in your bag for weeks. I'm gonna enjoy this watching the view. It's really good. What a lovely day it's been. Lovely walk. Finally done this section. And a beautiful evening, what a camp here. I didn't expect this. This is far better than I expected. And you can see the twinkling lights coming on now. You can see Portland over there, Portland Island. And you see the lights on the cruise ships. So as the stars come out, I'm going to watch the stars and I'm going to read, I think, a little bit and then have a nice quiet night and I'll continue this adventure in the morning. I'll see you then. It's morning time again. Time for fresh coffee. This is a new experience, walking off the beach with the headlight. What is it, about 4.30 in the morning. So you've got to be a little bit careful. You can see that, but that's the edge of the cliff. You really need a bright headlight and really need to get your wits about you walking the south coast path at night. So walking into Weymouth now on the outskirts Still along Shingle Beach, but we've got lights now. It's getting light. So anyway, looking forward to getting into Weymouth. And then it's going to be time for the special day tripper breakfast. Every through hiker's dream. Two. Yeah, I'm fully loaded now. Ready for another day. So the first signs of sunrise behind the cruise ships. The birds are coming to life. It's so nice arriving in Weymouth, literally at the crack of dawn. There's all the Weymouth wild swimmers. Nine wild swimmers. So look at this, Maria's Cafe Weymouth. Look at that lovely full English breakfast. Just what I needed. Just as it hits 8 o'clock and the cuckoo clock is going off. 
perfect time for breakfast but it has to be a full English. As I get ready to leave Weymouth just my final thoughts really about the south west coast path. This time my boots are absolutely fine even though I wore the same boots last time I've worn them in many many miles since then probably walked probably walked 50 miles in them at least. Wear them for about two months or more doing long walks before you come out here and then the second tip would be hiking poles big difference having hiking poles really help helps take the weight off your off your legs off your knees they act like shock absorbers so really made a difference especially coming downhill and even going uphill you can really push yourself forward or you can you can stop the impact so that was really helpful I had just about the right amount of water right amount of food I was better prepared I, if I was doing the coastal path I would aim to do 10 miles a day 15 miles at a push because when you're going up and down these cliffs and big hills honestly maybe it's me but I struggle to maintain maybe one mile and a half an hour definitely can't do two miles an hour it's so slow going up and down the steps probably one mile an hour sometimes I would also recommend doing it in stages I mean it'd be nice to have a whole month for you know 60 days to do it if that's what you want to do I think be reasonable probably more like 60 days so I've come from Port Harbour all the way to Weymouth which I'm happy with it's probably about I know 40 miles I definitely feel encouraged that I've sort of succeeded and I've ticked this part off I didn't quit I faced my fears I faced the challenge and I overcame it I didn't shy away from it and say well I'm not doing that again it just made me more determined to get stronger so I can do a bit more and thanks for joining there's some lovely views for a lovely night camping fantastic place I mean what a night so much better than I expected thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't if you enjoyed this please like the video really appreciate it I appreciate your friendship and uh, the community I really appreciate your comments I really enjoy those I look forward to sharing more with you soon so thanks for joining and I'll see you next time bye for now